Question six is, or 6.1 at least, is a proof. So in this proof, what we are given is that, um, let's just look carefully over here. They tell us that these angles are the same. So angle A is equal to angle P. They told us that. And angle B is equal to angle Q. Um, so let's show it like this. And then angle C is equal to angle R. And so that is what we've been given. What we do now is we are going to try place this length here onto this triangle. So we're going to put it here and we're going to put a little dot over here. So we're going to construct and, and let's first call this G. I'll explain everything now. Let's call this G for example. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to put that one on here. So maybe it looks something like that. And let's call this H. So what we're going to say is that we are going to construct line GH such that AG is the same length as PQ and AH is the same length as PR. Okay, and so there's our construction line that we've done there. What we are now going to do is we are going to try prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So let me just write that over here. Let's do it up here. Prove that triangle AGH is going to be, whoops, that's similar, congruent to triangle PQR. That is what we are going to try and do now. So we can say that angle A is equal to angle P. Why? Because that was given to us. Remember they gave that to us here. We can now say that the green line, which is AG, is equal to uh, PQ. There's no reason for that. We, we made it like that. We did the construction like that. And then we can say AH is the same as PR. And so these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, triangle AGH is congruent to triangle PQR. And that's because of the side angle side theorem, because we have a side angle side. Now, we can say, therefore, angle AGH, which is this one, must be the same as angle PQR. Okay, and so that means that this one has these two lines and this one has these two lines. And so all of a sudden, it means that this angle must be the same as this angle. So we can now say, therefore, angle AGH is the same as angle B. So now, guys, think about this carefully. If these two angles are the same, then that means that this line is parallel to this line because of corresponding angles. So what we can say is that GH is going to be parallel to BC. And the reason is, is that the corresponding angles are equal. Now, this is great because if we think about if these lines are parallel, then we know the proportionality theorem tells us that for any triangle, if you have parallel lines and you have, for example, A, B, C, D, E, if those lines are parallel, you can say something like AB over BC is the same as AD over DE. That's just because of the proportionality theorem. And so now we have a triangle that has parallel lines. And so we can say, therefore, AG over AB, for example, or no, let's do it the other way around. Let's say AB, which is this entire length over the smaller one is the same as AH, oh no, we started with the bigger one, the bigger one, AC over AH, and that's just because of the prop theorem. So you can either say prop theorem because GH is parallel to BC, or some students like to say line, line parallel to side of triangle. 
I usually use this one at the top, but I know that some students use the one at the bottom. Okay, so we're nearly done because now we're trying to get to this. Now we can say, but we know that AG, which is this one, is the same as PQ and AH is the same as PR. So we can go replace these two now with PQ and PR and so we can say therefore AB over PQ must be the same as AC over PR. And so there we have proven um, this proof. So you might need to watch this one or two more times. Um, that's perfectly normal to have to do that just so that it makes perfect sense. You want to be able to do this question completely by yourself eventually without having to watch what we're doing here. So maybe take this time, pause the video and try see if you can do it two or three times by yourself.